What is up, Fight Fans? Welcome back to Picking a Fight. I'm Latch, and today we're going to be looking at UFC Fight Night Strickland versus Imovov. We're going to be looking at Catelyn Vieira versus Raquel Pennington. But before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment down below on your initial prediction. And yeah, let's get right into it. So we got number two ranked bantamweight Catelyn Vieira. She's 13 and 2. She's 31 years old. She's 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch reach. And she's currently on a two fight win streak over Holly Holm and Misha Tate. And she is going against Raquel Rocky Pennington, who's ranked number five. She's 14 and 8. She's 34 years old. And she's 5'7 with a 67 and a half inch reach. And she's currently on a four fight win streak with her last three being over Aspen Ladd, Macy Kiason, and Panzi Kianzan. Raquel Pennington, she's much more old school. Her style is way old school. She's very gritty. She tends to press forward. And she's always ready to brawl. You know, we saw that in her last fight. Uh, what we saw in her last fight also is she has some really good counters to when uh, girls try to come and f bring the fight to her. She can counter really well. She throws a lot in combinations. Uh, she looked very, very strong in the clinch against someone just as strong in Aspen Ladd. And I think she will be needing to cut Kellen off and keep it very close and in range because Kellen does way better fighting at distance. And um, we might possibly see her need to shoot for a takedown. I think she's overall much less technical than Kellen Vieira, but I think she's got that absolute dog in her. And I don't think it'll be in. So you can never really count her out. But um, I don't know if it'll be enough, you know, because Kellen has very good movement. Uh, she's an orthodox striker with a background in jiu-jitsu. Um, she uses her height and length to fight pretty long. Um, she has really she has a she has pretty good striking instinct when it comes to throwing her punches. Um, she tends to lead with a really great jab. Uh, she has a good guard on the ground, but she can be taken down pretty easily, which um, I don't think is recommended against someone as strong as Pennington. Um, and that's because she tends to get too comfortable laying on her back to throw submissions, even when they're not working, you know. Um, but I do think she will be the better, more natural striker, and I do think she has an advantage in the jiu-jitsu. I think the biggest problem she can face is if Pennington makes this a really gritty fight in close distance. And so in the clinch or if she pushes Vieira against the fence, I think Vieira needs to disengage and all that and kind of fight her fight at distance. It's worked against Holly Holm and Misha Tate, and it should work against Pennington. But Pennington, you know, she's a dog, but... I'm going to have to go with Vieira by decision. I think I'm most comfortable picking her to fight at a distance and kind of fight her fight, and I think it will be enough. But let me know down below what you think. Leave a comment down below. Do you think I'm underestimating Raquel Pennington? Do you think she's got what it takes to, to beat someone like Vieira? Let me know down below. And, yeah, check out our other videos. We're putting out videos for every other fight on this same card, including the last-minute replacement main event. And yeah, it's going to be a great night of fights. Do not forget to tune in, and I'll see you next week for UFC 283. But until then, take care.